to our first installation of AES Pop Project Crash Course, and I'm your host, Samara Malik. Of course, today we'll be starting with the topic of globalization. But first, a short definition of globalization. Globalization is when a company starts investing in a different country. Here on my desk, you see that I have several items. Firstly, this is a hat that was bought in the United States. But if you look at the tag, it says it was made in China. Secondly, we have this Mentos tea. This was bought in Dubai, but it's from the UK. Both of these are products of globalization because the company that made them invested in a different country to make the products. Anyway, on to the lesson. Companies are exploiting the third world's resources. This is causing large amounts of worker exploitation, labor, uh, which is labor exploitation, environmental exploitation, and therefore more problems for all classes of society. But the solution is simpler than you think. Let's turn to the light bulb. Corporate social responsibility is an idea that is used and implemented in several companies. The purpose of CSR is to make sure that companies do not exploit the country that they're investing in. CSR benefits both the society and the company itself in several ways. CSR makes sure that the products from the countries they're investing in do not harm the society or create negative impacts, which means that workers work in sanitary and safe conditions with an at least sufficient pay. This also means that they will decrease carbon footprint and make donations to charities. Companies also largely benefit from this because if they are more socially responsible, they will get even more business. Overall, the CSR very largely decreases problems in companies and India as a whole. All this seems great, but if consumers do not become aware that these problems happen, then this idea of CSR will not be implemented because that will be cheaper for the company. If CSR is not implemented, then it is impossible for the society to benefit. CSR is fueled by consumer awareness, and if that is created, then it will benefit all classes of society immensely and the environment as well. Basically put, it's when you, the consumer consuming the company's products, are aware of the schemes that companies may use to make you ignorant to their flaws. Being aware of companies that use organic material rather than crazy planet-destroying materials, and going to companies that take care of their workers, and then choosing where to buy depending on things like that. To show the difference between a cautious consumer and a careless consumer, we went out and did some interviewing down in Open Hands Cafe. So could you tell us, do you ever wonder what happens to your shirt and the people who make it like, before it reaches the stores? Yes, indeed. I do. Very often. So our first question is, um, do you ever think about what goes through your shirt while it's being made? Like anything about that? So we must unfortunately turn and look deeply at the consequences of what would happen if we didn't use corporate social responsibility. The town of Tirupur is home to many garment industry factories. Most of the workers there are 14 or under. The press wasn't allowed in any of the factories, but in an interview with the former factory workers, 82% reported that they were verbally abused and 19% reported that they were physically abused. 24-hour shifts were also reported. Working conditions like this are unbearable, but when people don't understand the figures, they can't spread the fact and then consumer awareness lacks. Not only are people exploited by companies, but the environment is too. Environmental exploitation is a huge problem in India. The environment is a useful resource no matter what sector you work in. But sometimes we take for granted the amount of resources we have and end up destroying them and us through things like air pollution and water pollution. Companies can find it easy to look over these things if the consumers aren't pointing them out. For example, in 2004, Coca-Cola opened bottling factories in India. Unfortunately, it took a lot of water to bottle up all that soda pop. And Coke ended up sucking up almost all of the groundwater from the land. This meant families wouldn't be getting enough water to sustain themselves along with the fact that their irrigation systems fail from lack of water, and they went hungry because they couldn't grow crops. Luckily, Coca-Cola has fixed their problem since then because of the negative publicity this problem got them, especially after they had just signed a UN Water Conservation Act. 
type of place you want to get your products from, where the exploitation of labor, the environment, and even yourself happens, this obviously needs to change. So take a stand, petition a company, work together to create a campaign. Let the famous words of Mahatma Gandhi ring loud and clear. Be the change you want to see in the world.